it's the end of September, and look what's hanging already across the sky. Yes, it's the Oxford Street Lights. And if we've got columns, it must be Silfridges. There you go, just to prove that it is. And we're here on Oxford Street. And why we're we here today? We've come to the Christmas shop. Oh, it's like this is all planned. And you know what? You need to give a yeah, quick wave to the Christmas shop. Brilliant. Uh, while she's on her phone as well. And let's go down there and have a look at what I can only describe as a really playful Christmas decoration area. Let's go in and have a look at the 2024 Christmas decoration selection. And also I can tell you halfway through the video, we've got a village that they've set up here as well and it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm looking forward to bringing you that. Right, let's have a look at the selection of Christmas decorations they've got this year. So Selfridges again this year have done the themes for the different types of Christmas decorations. This is Disco Fever and that Swifty sign, I know someone who might like that. Anyway, so we start off with the Disco Fever bits and pieces here. I love that chill pill as well. It's that Vondels, which we also covered in the Liberty Christmas decorations as well. But didn't see that one down there. So if you fancy a selection here, this might well be for you. And also the good news is not only do they have the decorations on the tables, but they've also got them set up in the trees as well. And did you notice as we came in that they had a Christmas tree twirling? Well, they've done that around the whole Christmas decoration department as well. So if you get stuck in one place, you can stand there and watch the decorations turn before your eyes. It's also easy for filming as well. We don't have to keep moving around. Thank you, Selfridges. You think of everything. With more glamour, glitz and sequins than an ABBA costume, yeah, that would make them embarrassed. How about these? These are hand baskets which you can pick up, but as you can see, they've pimped them all up with tinsel. And a little bit later also, you'll see shopping carts where they've put tinsel right round as well. So they've really gone for it in this Christmas department. So I hope you're liking the Christmas decorations so far, and we've got some great selections to show you throughout this video that they have here at Selfridges. Don't forget to hit that pause button if you wanna have a look. And there you go, candles re-emerging. We saw those at the Fortnum and Mason video, which was up just last weekend. Uh, so they seem to be bringing the candles back this year as a sort of a theme all across the different places. It's good to see what's on point, isn't it? So if your golden sparkles are your Christmas tree decoration theme, then this is definitely going to be the selection for you. And don't forget, you can go online as well to selfridges.com where you'll be able to buy a whole load of these things. And what's really interesting from comments from some of the previous videos we've put up is that people do get online ASAP to buy these so they can get them shipped all around the world well in time for Christmas. For me, Selfridges have always been up there with their Christmas decorations and certainly the way they display them, which just makes them feel even better. But if you want a Christmas wreath this year, there's a commonality, apart from that big gold one in the middle, all the others are £220 each. Yeah, they look like a lot of baubles being stuck together, but for £220? For that price, you certainly wouldn't want to leave it on your front door unattended without an alarm on it. Can you imagine? You wake up in the morning, it's been nicked, and then you'll find it later on eBay. Now, just like at Liberty, where they had some of the different film characters, there you go, you've got Winnie the Pooh, you had Dumbo as well, as well as Bambi. I must admit, I've not seen a Bambi before. But anyway, there you go, and you've got the candlestick as well from one of the other Disney films. But not only that, as you go across, you've got lots of different characters. And we'll have a closer look at those a little bit later, because there was one or two new ones they've added this year as well. And of course, if you love Mickey Mouse, there you go, you've got that there as well. And also, how about that Barbie? So if you fancy a fabulous, famous Christmas tree, let's have a look at some of these characters. So you've got Salvador Dali, Audrey Hepburn there, and Andy Warhol, there you go. Sorry, Andy, I've got to put the price tag back there. Uh, Grace Jones, smoking a fag, uh, and also old Freddie Mercury. I can't remember who that designer is, but anyway, well-known designer. The one in the pink outfit's Little Nas X. You've got Mariah Carey, and yes, that's Paul Hollywood holding a baked loaf. Why would you want him on your Christmas tree? Anyway, uh, you've also got Madonna there as well. Um, and that was Harry Styles by the side. Yeah, I had to look twice as well. So there you go, plenty of characters to put on your Christmas tree this year. Uh, don't fancy that? How about a pink flamingo? Well, how about a pink flamingo?
I'm just loving that gingerbread house there as well. Uh, you've got all different types of Santa Claus in soil, including a water surfing Santa Claus. I suppose that's ideal for anyone in Australia or New Zealand for the middle of their summer. And this selection, as you can see there, oh come or ye play for. What I really like about this collection is that they're really colourful. Although, Father Christmas in a hot tub, poor bloke, he can't even get in a hot tub in peace. So then we move on from these colourful decorations to this one. Now this collection is called Felt So Good, and if you fancy a Tyrannosaurus Rex on top of your Christmas tree, Selfridges have got it for you. Yes, I'll say that again, a Tyrannosaurus Rex on top of your Christmas tree. Never in the world would I have thought I'd utter that sentence. Anyway, watch your fingers. So all of this is made from felt and it's all come from Nepal. And whilst in the other shops we've shown you a collection or a very you know small selection that they have of this type of thing, Selfridges have really gone for it this year. A whole wide selection, including worms. Yeah, I don't know, don't ask me. People put it on their Christmas tree, they're like all different sorts of things. But when you see the Christmas tree that they've made with all of these in just a second, you can see it twirling around there, and we'll give you a show, it does seem to work quite well. So anyway, if felt ornaments are your thing, and let's face it, if you've got tree branches which can't take heavy items, this is absolutely perfect, then this could be the collection for you. And just look at them all here stuffed on this twirling tree. Thank you Selfridges, it looks amazing. So Selfridge is the fourth of the stores to go for Christmas this year with their decorations. We've still got John Lewis to come a little bit later, but I'll tell you more about my thoughts of the different stores a little bit later in the video. But I wanna give you an absolute treat. And for this, I'm gonna shut up, let the music play and show you a Christmas village.
simple as that. So you can buy all these different individual components and, and you can get those from here in the store. But one of my favourite ones was definitely the sort of the post office where you could see the parcels in the front. Right, if you're in London and you're gonna get Christmas decorations, this is Christmas in London. So here you've got all things royal with the queen and various crowns plus corgis as well and in here you can buy a box selection which has got various decorations including crowns, the queen um, and other bits and pieces that you can hang as well so you can buy them as a set of six. And within this collection this certainly caught my eye, it's a pumpkin carriage. So if you're looking at some of these and thinking, do you know what, I fancy buying those, here you go, selfridges.com is where you wanna go. You'll see a wide cross selection on there. Plus also, if need be, you can phone their helpline. They're very good. Now when I first saw these King Charles decorations, I actually thought he was stopping the traffic and then realized it's a royal wave. Yeah, I can't imagine him as a lollipop person, could you? And those of you watching from other parts of the planet, uh, a lollipop person is someone just stands outside the school, stops the traffic so the kids can cross. Can you imagine King Charles doing that? Maybe he does it part time, part of his community service. So if you're coming to London and you're coming to Selfridges before Christmas, you certainly want to get into this bit because they've got some lovely Christmas decorations, which remind you of your trip down into London, including, there you go, a golden plush Big Ben. Ha, just what you need for your treat. At least it's nice and light. Unlike this corgi sitting on a cushion, uh, which is a lot heavier. But what I also like, as I said earlier, is the fact that they've actually themed each of the Christmas trees so you can see them all stuffed on there because alone, they don't look fantastic but when you put them in with all of the other decorations and you absolutely stuff the Christmas tree this is the effect that you get and you can see what's going to happen can't you as you get closer and closer to Christmas a load of these items will sell out on the shelves and then you can just imagine the tree being stripped bare. So if you come down here from about mid-December, don't expect to see much on the tree as everyone helps themselves. Anyway, didn't see any of those Paddingtons around, did you? So we go from London to Selfridges and just look at that tree topper. Yep, that wouldn't have cost too much, would it? It's a paper Selfridges bag literally thrown on top. Now, if yellow is the theme of your Christmas tree, then this could be the collection for you. And they've done all Selfridges branding on all these different types of things, from yellow buses to yellow phone boxes. No, they're not a thing over here in London to all sorts of other bits as well. So we go from the Selvages themed Christmas tree to Christmas classics. Now, I thought this was gonna be a snow globe. Picked it up and as you can see, turned it over, realized it wasn't a snow globe and then put it back very quickly because I had a funny feeling that top was gonna to fall off the nutcracker's head. Can you imagine? What a way to make an entrance. Hello, I've just dropped your decorations all over the floor. Which makes me wonder how, how many of these they actually lose each Christmas as everyone is sort of fiddling around and playing with them. I know there's many of you nutcracker lovers out there, so you can see this year they really have, here at Selfridges at least, got a good selection. Although we didn't see that many when we did Fort Mason, did we? So my view on the Christmas decorations that we've seen in different videos so far. I think for me, Selfridges without doubt has got the brightness, it's got the color, and it's also got the displays. Liberty also is a high winner for me as well. You can't beat the way that they actually set it all up under those fairy lights. Uh, and also the shop itself is amazing and really blends in nicely to add to the Christmas feel. I think the one I'm most disappointed with has got to be Fort Noah Mason, which we had last Sunday. Uh, the area just seems to be a lot smaller and it really just, even though it's Christmas decorations, it doesn't feel like Christmas at all. Yet when you come in here, you're absolutely blasted with Christmas. There you go, from reindeers on a tree flashing with all sorts of candy canes. Come in here and you can't help but feel Christmassy. It certainly will be interesting to see what John Lewis make of their store on Oxford Street and look forward to covering that soon. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, that's another good reason to subscribe so you can not only see their decorations, but of course, when London hits the Christmas lights and they go on in all of the different areas of London, we'll be bringing them to you as well. 
In the meantime, you can get an oyster for your tree or something else equally as sparkly in this collection with lots of skis. Which is rather handy for their collection, tis the skison. It's also worth pointing out in a lot of these shops, especially here at Selfridges, if you want some really good decorations, you've got to go hunting for them. So don't just look at what's on top of all of the different tables. Do go underneath as well, because that's where you find a treasure trove of decorations. But it does mean you need to get down. A whole cross section here you have to get down low to. And there you go, we finish off with these golden faces of a bear. Right. This is what some of the neutral decorations look like when put on a tree. And we've got more reindeer camouflaged in the tree there with a sleigh. Either that or it's crash landed. And these are all decorations from Tis the Skeezin. Now, if your more traditional neutral decorations are your thing, or just sort of even just plain glass ones, then this is definitely the area that you want to come and have a look at. Because as you can see here, you've got something that goes with almost every single color because it is just so easily neutral on the eye. And how about a royal polar bear? No, don't ask me. They just seem to have put a crown on top of his head. including a couple of neutral handbags thrown in for good measure. So we go from our neutrals, and I must admit, I do like those candelabra as they look very good. And how about that for a tree topper? Now, you're gonna see in a second just how thin this is, but this is all back to the disco fever decorations that we showed you near the beginning. And just look at the neon that's sitting on there as well. Um, although someone's put the ho, ho, ho on back to front. <sighs> someone's gonna be in trouble for that one. Uh, but the neon also does really bring it to life, doesn't it? Especially those holly and berries, they're very nice. And there you go, at the very top, that was the hologram. So tucked away in one of the little side windows, they've set up another one of these little Christmas villages. Uh, but it's not completely finished, the railway track wasn't done and you've still got Father Christmas falling down a hill. But anyway, looks rather pretty in the window there. So what have you thought about the Christmas decorations this year at Selfridges? And how do you think they compare with the other ones? I'll give you my views a little bit earlier. And if you like nutcrackers, there you go. You've got the nutcrackers in the window there, but you've also got a nutcracker workshop, which is quite interesting because when you look closely, You'll find that a number of them have been broken on purpose as it's a workshop. Now, I'm going to leave you with a video up in the top right hand corner, and it's of Harrods. It was the first one that we covered, and have a look at that and see how that compares as well. I'll see you in there.